What is up, YouTube? Back for another episode. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Uh, I know yesterday's episode with the uh, thousand degree knife versus the carbon fiber was kind of boring, so I figured I'd make up for it today with the top seven driver feel mods. Uh, now, for the most part, these are in order, as in like my favorite top one to my least favorite being seven. So, with that being said, man, let's get started. Now, if you guys are interested in any of these mods yourselves, I'll put all the links down in the description. So first and foremost on the list is going to be the RJM Clutch Pedal Mod. And reasons for this? Oh man, where do I begin? Uh, from being able 100% adjustable, from either being able to set this thing up like even with your brake pedal, or you could have it lower than your clutch pedal. You could have it higher than your clutch pedal. Um, let's say you have a uh, super heavy clutch and it's killing your leg. You can actually custom set this thing up towards actually a super light pedal. Or if, like if you do like I did and I actually have a super lightweight, I have the Jim Wolf Technology uh, clutch and flywheel set up. And it was way too light, and I wanted something a little heavier so I could just feel. It was just like I was pressing a piece of paper. I was actually able to get a lot stiffer pedal feel also. So, I mean, this thing's just 100% customizable. It is absolutely my favorite mod. I wish I'd have done a long time ago, but I guess uh, this is actually the, uh, the 4.0 version. I guess they've went through quite a few and just had little issues here and there with each one and finally man they got it down and this thing is flawless. So number two is going to bring us to short throw shifter. Now I chose the Torque Solution short throw shifter. I honestly don't know if other short shifters are going to give you the same feel that this one does. I don't know if it's just uh, the particular bearings they decided to use in this one, or uh, bushings I should say, as opposed to other ones. I don't, I don't really know, I can't speak for other ones, but uh, I know on this particular shifter, it wasn't really about like the short throw. They were more or less just changing the falcon point, so you could get like smoother, more consistent shifts. I will say this, like with the old setup, like I would occasionally, when I'm really raunching on it hard, like racing somebody, I'd miss third. Uh, also, I'd get the notorious second gear grind. And it's not that my sinkers are going bad, it's just occasionally I, that would just happen because the ship just is just kind of a weird, kind of loose kind of feel. You guys know what I'm talking about. And now with this thing, that is all gone. <laughs> this thing is absolutely ridiculous. I love this thing. Look at this. That is crazy. That brings us to number three, which is gonna be the Z1 Motorsports Brake Master Cylinder Brace. Now, for the Master Cylinder Brace, worlds of difference, worlds of difference. When I first went out and braked hard after I installed that, I was actually blown away by the difference it made because I, I was sick of the brake pedal feel from day one in this car. Like, it's it's horrible. Um, now, did it take care of it 100%? No, it sure didn't. One thing if I had to complain about, I would say the only thing that mod really does is helps you out if you're braking super hard. If you're braking super hard, yes, worlds of difference. You'll be blown away by how big of a difference it makes. But for just like, you know, daily driving around town and stuff like that, you're still going to get that kind of mushy pedal feel and you're going to be like, ah, it sucks. But still, like for actually going out, like, uh, you know, just having fun, blasting some back roads and driving really aggressive and stuff like that, it definitely makes a world of difference. That's going to bring us to number four, and number four is going to be Z1 Motorsports six shooter solid motor mounts. So if we look right down in there, you see right there, this motor mount is just a solid block of aluminum. Okay, so to explain, with the stock rubber uh, motor mounts, 
uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but I always felt like there was some kind of disconnect between you and the vehicle. Meaning like uh, driving the car before and driving almost any car with rubber motor mounts. Like, like when you really get up in the RPMs and you're just banging the gears super hard, I would always kind of get like this, this dash would kind of, you kind of get like that, you know, kind of neck snapping kind of thing you know what i mean just almost make the car just jerk real hard make the dash kind of bounce just like well once i got the solid motor mounts all that is gone you don't feel that jerk at all anymore you literally just sit perfectly still and just like burn, burn, burn. you don't get that snap you would get and it's just because everything's connected as one solid kind of like one solid piece you know what i mean you're not getting that the motor it's amazing how much you wouldn't think the motor moves that much. The motor moves way more than you actually think it does, man. It's actually got to drive somebody else's car, and uh, I was banging through the gears, and I was like, man, getting that snapping feeling back that I just don't get in here. I will say that I kind of missed that, but overall, like just a more direct feel, like the, like it, it's kind of indescribable until you actually experience it it's it's kind of a weird feeling so that brings us to number five which is going to be the nrg quick release steering wheel i mean first off how cool is this it never gets old man or this is even better reason being you know when you click it on like that you're about to go give your car some hell <laughs> in all seriousness though uh, I honestly thought that like the stock steering wheel I hated the stock steering wheel I hated the stock steering wheel man it was huge it was bulky there's huge pieces that went on here with all the stupid buttons for cruise control and all that stuff really cruise control on a 350z sports car are you serious I don't I never did get that Another cool thing about this steering wheel, whenever I was doing my own alignments, is that the, the yellow part here on the top of the steering wheel actually made it super easy for aligning the front end, man. For getting the wheels perfectly straight with the, with the steering wheel itself just made life so much easier, man. But just overall feel, man, I love this steering wheel. I'm so glad I, cho I chose this one. Nice and small, just the way... Just the way it feels, man. I love it. Only thing that's weird I don't get is why the black is wearing off on here and it's got like this gold underneath. I'll be honest with you, man. I wish there was a way I could just kind of quickly get the rest of this black stuff off and just have this thing just solid gold like that because it actually looks really cool, man. I like gold. So that's going to bring us to number six, which is actually going to be tires. So me personally, I'm running uh, Continental Extreme Contact DWs, uh, 18 by 95 all the way around. So the car actually came with uh, 18 by 8s all around. Um, the only thing they did was they actually staggered the tire sizes. Um, just made it a little bit uh, taller or wider in the back, whatever it may be. Um, I guess it was to keep the VDC happy or whatever, but uh, once I deleted VDC, um, I definitely wanted to get some wider tires, so that's when I decided to go full inch and a half all the way around, and I can't even begin to describe the difference as opposed to like, like that inch and a half of extra meat was insane. Like. It was so easy to burn the tires before. It's not that easy now. I got to really raunch on this thing to get this thing to burn the tires. It's just got so much meat here to grab. I mean, look at that. These things are super wide, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Also seemed to like really help with like, I don't know if it like, it was kind of like a body roll. It was a body roll feel with the smaller tires like going around turns, as with the wider ones, it doesn't feel like it wants to do that as much. I almost feel like uh, it'll want to break traction before you'll get any kind of a body roll feel, kind of 
kind of weird to explain, but you guys with wide tires, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that brings us to number seven, which is going to be my Corbo racing seats. Now, <laughs> as for any kind of complaints, you don't want to take long trips with these things. Oh man, it's horrible on your back. But for spirited driving, kind of daily, just commuting around, yeah, amazing feel. Uh, I think this thing weighs uh, right around 19 pounds. I actually modified my rail because I went through a bunch of different rails and all of them sat way too high. And this originally had the slider on it so you can move it forward and backwards. But once again, it just sat way too high. So I ended up actually just no slider, no nothing. And just sat this thing down on this rail right here and then just cut or drilled holes to make it sit exactly where I want and that was like its lowest setting so it's actually more than happy with where it sits now it's perfect but the stock seats were horrible man because they're leather and they were like kind of wide and I'm a pretty small guy so like taking turns hard and stuff like that I would literally just slide back and forth constantly and although you might not have actually been able to tell very much you could tell by the seat because you could see on the sides just the grooves I was wearing in it from sliding. And then of course getting in and out like I would always rub like on here. So there's a huge spot right down through here. It got rubbed real bad which I'm assuming is why that they put these pads in all these the correct places. So that when you get in and out you're not actually trashing your seat. That's what these things are made for. Also hated the annoying uh, power seats as in like how long it took to get it to move forward or move back. <laughs> Those things were so horribly slow, man. I hated the stock seats in Z. And the heated seats, oh my God, Lord forbid you accidentally rest your arm on that center console and bump the heated seats and you're sitting there and all of a sudden dumping sweat like, oh my God, why is it so hot in here? And you look over and you've got the heated seats on. <laughs> And that is going to be the top seven driver fuel mods. Now I know, let me go ahead and address this. I kind of feel like somebody's going to say, well, what about coilovers, you know? And I, I kind of feel like I already touched base on that and like the top uh, handling mods or top suspension mods, whatever. So I didn't include that in there. Although I do agree adding coilovers is going to change the characteristics, change the handling, and then overall you're going to be happier because it's going to handle better so it's going to feel better but I figure I'd just stick to the stuff I never covered in other in other videos and honestly for the most part other than the tires clearly these are all super cheap mods man these are all super cheap mods not expensive at all and definitely well worth the money man these are all things that I wish I'd have done a long time ago I, I wish I never waited to do a lot of these man Seems like with the Z, it's a learning curve. You try something, and you're like, eh, I don't know. Then you try something else, and then you almost kind of have to wait for other people to try it first, maybe take their opinion. And then even still, I've heard a lot of people listen to a lot of other people's opinions and heard them talk like terribly about certain products and stuff like that. And then I get it, and I'm like, what are they talking about? This is amazing. So it's probably, obviously, going to be different for everybody, man. So... So with all this being said, man, that's going to wrap up the video, man. So if you guys like the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel and want to see some more of my content, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys hit the bell notification so you can see my newest content. And, uh, hmm. Peace!